I thought it would be the perfect day to do some thrifting. Specifically, I am on the hunt for some spring and summer clothes. Finally, it's starting to warm up around here. And honestly, I've been feeling just like the last year or maybe two, maybe three, I've been feeling a little uninspired getting dressed. Just been kind of sad because I actually used to work in a place where everyone really put a lot of creativity into how they got dressed every single day. And that really pushed me to be creative and to have fun. I really want to push myself this year to just, you know, have fun with getting dressed again. So yesterday I spent a little bit of time on Pinterest and I feel like, I don't know about you, I love Pinterest. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes like it learns what you like so much that you kind of keep seeing the same things over and over again. Especially when it came to like clothes, I feel like I was constantly seeing the same stuff. So I literally just put in spring 2024, you know, outfit trends or style trends just to see what popped up. I'm not necessarily like, I don't follow trends very closely. I, I try to just stick to what works for me. But, you know, sometimes when you're looking for new inspiration, that's just like a, a decent place to start. Scrolling through it, one like style or aesthetic that kept grabbing me was this one that was called Coastal Cowgirl. So I am not necessarily a full-blown cowgirl sort of gal. I do have a pair of beautiful vintage cowgirl boots that I actually thrifted when I was like 16 or 17. So they're very old, but I rarely wear them, but I've held on to them for years because they're they're beautiful. But I just loved sort of the mix. It's not too cowgirl. It's got like a little bit of like California beach vibes mixed with the cowgirl aesthetic. But most of all, I really love that it has very like 70s, a little bit boho vibes. Just love them all. I think they're so pretty. But overall, I also just really love that 70s vibe, especially for like spring and summer. Like I'm always a vintage girly. I have always taken a lot of my style inspiration from vintage fashion and clothing. But, you know, I feel like especially during the spring and summer, I really love I love a 70s vibe. So I think Coastal Cowgirl 70s vibes, that's sort of like our inspiration. Obviously in the end, we're just gonna go with anything that we love, but I always love sort of like having a little bit of a direction. It just helps me sort of like focus my, my energy because when you're in a thrift store, there's just, at anything and everything. So I feel like it just helps to have that little bit of inspiration. But anyway, that is what we are doing today. So without further ado, let's get to thrifting. <music> This denim jacket was so cute, but I honestly have like 10 denim jackets, so I just couldn't justify it. I loved these shorts, but they were definitely many sizes too big for me, unfortunately. I was shopping with my sister this day, and we didn't realize until well into shopping that they closed their fitting rooms basically permanently. Such a huge bummer, and I apologize in advance that I will complain about this a couple times, but it seriously really changed the entire shopping experience knowing that we couldn't actually truly try stuff on. I spent a lot of time in the men's t-shirts. I've been wearing a ton of t-shirts recently, so I was digging through there and I always feel like the better t-shirts are always in the men's section, even if sometimes I'll find good women's shirts in the men's section, but for some reason they always end up in the men's. But this shirt was gorgeous. I love this detail on it. When it comes to the more feminine women's blouses like these, I feel like I always end up just leaning on white. I can never quite decide on patterns. I always really debate on whether or not I like a pattern or not. I do love plaids, of course, but patterns like this, I debated on the shirt for quite a while. This is from my second stop. I stopped here without my sister, but this was another Goodwill just in a different town. Um, and I found a lot of dresses in this Goodwill as well as these jeans, which were unfortunately way too big. I can't decide if I can pull this off or I'm not sure. So I have unfortunately found too much and I definitely need to pare this down, but you can't use fitting rooms at any of the thrift stores I've gone to today, which is so frustrating. Um, but I found a lot of really cute dresses, so this might be a little hard to pare down. This is actually a Reformation dress, and I think it's so cute. It's long sleeve, so it's not necessarily like spring or summer, but this is something I feel like I can see myself wearing. This I kind of thought was fun, although this might be one to go because this isn't naturally my style, so I feel like it, it's likely that I won't wear it as much as I'd like to imagine I would, but I feel like it would look so cute with like cowboy boots and a whole 
jacket or something like that. I think we might leave that one. This one also is cute. I feel like this could be styled really cute, but it also feels a little bit... I don't know. This is something I would have worn a ton as a teenager, but I feel like maybe it's... I'm a little past this, so I might leave this. I kind of feel like I've had similar things and ended up not wearing it quite as much, so I might skip that. This is not a color that I have really anything of, but it just like looked like a comfy little slip dress that I could easily wear, like just throw on, um, even just with sandals and stuff, and it would be really comfy. And just in a little tank top. And I kind of thought that these shorts were kind of cute, especially if I rolled them up and they're just like a, a stretchy waistband, they're land's end. But I might try to sh throw these on just over top of my pants and see if they're, because if they're way too big, then obviously I can leave them. All right, guys, it is time to do a try on haul. I am very excited, but also very nervous. And let me just complain one more time because I am so frustrated that seemingly all of the Goodwills in my area have within like the last month or so, you can't try on anything. To not really have any idea if they fit properly is just super frustrating. Anyway, so <laughs> some of this stuff, I honestly don't know if it'll fit me. I tried my best to try it on, but I made the mistake not realizing that none of the thrift stores I'd be able to try on at of wearing like jeans and like a more normal outfit. Whereas like from now on, whenever I'm looking for clothes at the thrift store, I will go in sort of like this, like tight leggings, tight top. That way I can just like try on stuff over top easily. So lesson learned. <laughs> but let me know, is your, has your Goodwill started enacting this policy? Cause I really hope this is not like a countrywide thing. It's a major bummer. Anyway, let's stop complaining. Let's try stuff on. Okay. So, love, love a bell bottom, love a flare. I am very much into flares. I feel like I know jeans are a hot topic, especially among people my age range. But I personally realized over the years that like, I know skinny jeans were like growing up, that was everything. That's we all we all wore skinny jeans. But now that I'm older, I personally have realized like those weren't the best style for me just because of how tall I am. They just kind of made me look like this big, tall, Gumby character, basically. <laughs> but I really love flares. I've actually always loved flares. That's what I wore in middle school, like, all the time, and it was my favorite. So I'm glad that they're back. So I got shirt, belt, and pants all yesterday at the thrift store. I have to say that these pants, they do fit. They're super cute. But I do think that if I had actually been able to try them on, I would not have bought them. They're not comfy. Like they're just not comfy. So these are definitely gonna be something where it's like, I might wear them to a spe like specific events or something like that. Something where it's like, okay, I'm going to this event. It's an hour or two long and then I take them off. But I definitely don't see myself wearing them all day long. I, like they're not comfy enough for that. They are Forever 21, which I knew they still had brand new with the tag on them. I generally don't buy Forever 21 because it's cheaply made. I figured I'd give them a shot just because they are such a cute pattern and they are the flare. So they're not like a massive regret, but I definitely would not have bought them if I had been able to try them on. Love this belt though. The belt is super cute. And I think the belt was like two bucks. Total super happy with that. So the shirt is also from yesterday. I actually really, really love it. I wasn't totally sure about it. I really loved the top, but it's kind of like longer. It's kind of like a weird length. I think it's super cute tucked in and I have a few pairs of really good denim flares that I feel like I could tuck this into those just like this. And this would be a comfy, cute outfit. So super excited about the shirt for sure. Okay, I'm still figuring out how I want to style this shirt, but I think that this could be cute, especially as like beach, poolside cover up. I like these shorts. They're actually really comfy. And you know, depending, I can always roll them down to give me a little more length if I want to. But I love the print. I think it's a little bit different, which is so nice, but it's still neutral, but gives like, it's just a little more interesting. I do always struggle with styling sort of these stretchy band shorts like to me they always feel a little bit weird but i think 
I think this is kind of cute, but I do love this shirt. I know, I think my sister thought I was a little bit crazy grabbing it, but I think it's really pretty with this lace detail and I can layer it, I think in a couple different ways and I could wear it open, like it fully unbuttoned. So I could also like wear it just over top of something as like a layering piece. And I think it'd be really cute, but I, yeah, I'm really, I'm really into this. Yeah, this is definitely my vibe. Okay, this dress I am so excited about. I was almost gonna style it with the cowboy boots that I have, which I think would be really cute, but I like, <laughs> I'm still figuring out how to toe that line between full on cowgirl and sort of a little more laid back coastal cowgirl. So super cute all, all on its own. This is definitely like so me and I love it with a belt. I feel like I belted everything in my teens. Like I put a belt on every dress that I wore and I thought it was like so cool. And then I feel like it really went out of style for a while. And maybe it's not even back in style, but maybe I've just decided that I miss belts with dresses. Cause I think it's so cute. It just adds a little, a little something, something to it. It's definitely a dress that I'll be able to throw on and not feel like overdressed or underdressed and it'll just be like comfy. I could literally like go for a walk in it. Like that's how comfy it is. This is a very, I feel like this is a great basic dress. I don't know. And I like it with the cowboy boots cause I feel like we're not too, too prairie cowgirlish with this outfit. I always need something that sort of gives me a little waist definition. Cause otherwise I feel like I'm, <laughs> like I mentioned before, I just become like a big Gumby if I don't have like some sort of definition and a little bit of volume in different places. I, I definitely really need it, but I like, I like the little slit. This is super, super, super lightweight. Uh, which is kind of nice. So like even in the dead middle of summer when it is a thousand degrees, I could totally throw this on and be comfy all day long. Okay, and I just have a couple t-shirts left. So I'm just gonna run through them really quick since they're just t-shirts, nothing crazy, but I've just been loving throwing on a t-shirt with a pair of like big flares and it's just like, you know, an easy throw on outfit, obviously. Love this Yellowstone t-shirt. Think it is so cute. I actually pulled it out and my sister was like, if you don't want that, I want that. <laughs> it was one of those moments where we both wanted it. And I was like, well, I really want it. So I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I am that jerk of a little sister who plays finders keepers. Love this, super comfy, super cute. Definitely on our, you know, coastal cowgirl vibe. I also grabbed this tank top, which is super duper basic, but I realized recently that like all of my tank tops at this point, I've been using for like, when I do really gross work outside during the summer, like, you know, in the yard and on the house and stuff like that. So I wanted like a nice-ish, just cute tank top to throw on. And this one literally was marked at $2 and then it was half off because it was like the green tag or blue tag or whatever tag was on sale that day. And so it literally ended up being a dollar. So can't say no to that. This next shirt I grabbed from the men's section. And honestly, the whole reason I grabbed it is I just love this color. And I feel like me and my sister were both saying like, I feel like you don't ever see this nice hunter green color like almost ever yeah i just really love it it's like a little irish whiskey shirt which i think is pretty cute it's got a little i forget what it says on the back but i'll know when i watch this back it's just like a fun little throw on for something casual and lately i've been just wearing so many t-shirts that i feel like it's always good to have a couple more that you that you like because i have a ton of t-shirts that i don't really love like i don't like how they fit me or whatever but i i kind of love this like oversized men's fit i feel like a men's fit has always done me well especially when tucked in because like i said before i feel like i always need a little bit of definition so having a like a little bit of volume up top and then like waist definition just it kind of at least it, it makes me happy. I'm not an expert at body types and what people should wear, but at least it makes me happy when I see sort of like volume up top, volume on the bottom, and a little bit of waist definition in the middle. Okay, and the most basic of basics, a good white t-shirt. This was also from the men's section. 
I feel like no matter how much I spend on a white t-shirt from like a, a woman's retailer, they never fit me right. And I, I don't know if it's just because of my body type, um, but I feel like the men's white t-shirts always fit me so much better. So I am really excited about this one. It's also like vintage and like has that super soft worn in feel. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And it is so good. So I'm pretty darn excited about this, this basic white t-shirt. While we're here, I will show you the two things that absolutely did not fit and I would not have bought if I could try them on. Now this one I knew was a little bit of a risk. It is, I think I actually said in the video that I wasn't gonna get it. And then I just, I realized that it was, it was $5 and then half off. So it was $2.50 and I was like, maybe I'll just get it and just take the risk. And I am kind of debating, it is just, it, it, so it fits on me, but it's just way, way, way too short, but it's too long to be a top, especially on me. It's like, it's neither here nor there, but maybe I could, I'm, I'm trying to debate, like maybe I could crop it and make it into a shirt. Maybe I could just tuck it into something to be a cute shirt. I don't know. And then unfortunately this reformation dress is like, I mean, just barely like a half a size too small. Like I almost could get the zipper up, but it was like, you know what? It, like where you have like that much that you can't get the zipper up, just that last little tiny bit, like maybe I could force it, but I didn't want to do that. Cause obviously I'm just going to be uncomfortable if I force it. And to be honest, it was a little too short on me too, but I'm really sad. Cause like, I love this print. I was really hoping it would work, but it just, it just didn't. And I'm sad. And once again, definitely wouldn't have bought it if I could try it on. Also, I'll show you a few other little things I thrifted yesterday real quick. I should have started these with one of my outfits, but I forgot. Anyway, I got this super cute pair of like loafer moccasins. They kind of remind me a lot of Minnetonkas, which I actually do have a whole bunch of Minnetonkas because I used to wear them a lot. But as I've gotten older, like Minnetonkas are paper thin, unfortunately. And my old lady feet are just, they can't put up with Minnetonkas anymore. So they're vintage, clearly, but they're also brand new, like still have like a tag from whenever they were being sold. And they're very, very, very clean. Just clearly never worn, never used, but they have a nice thick insole for these old lady feet of mine. And I just think they're super duper cute and definitely, you know, 70s vibes. So very excited about these. These were 10 bucks. And then I ended up getting a whole stack of vinyls. I won't bore you with every single one, but a couple of good Christmas ones that I am excited to put away and pull out next Christmas. Bye Bye Birdie, which was me and my siblings absolute like favorite movie for at least an entire summer. One year, I swear we watched it every single day for an entire summer, at least. James Taylor, like compilation of 50s hits and just all the good ones, just so much fun. Another compilation of hits, Judy Garland Live, a compilation of 30s swing hits, and Liza Minnelli Live. I recently got just a little record player at an estate sale, and honestly, I've been absolutely loving just putting it on while I like cook dinner. A lot of times, this is so silly, but a lot of times I feel like I'll go to put like a song on on my phone, and I end up going down the, the rabbit hole of Instagram for like 10 minutes, and I'm like, Ugh. All I was gonna do was put a song on. So I've been really loving just putting a record on while I like clean or do work or anything just to have music on in the background. And I don't know, I just, I, I love it. And I know it's sort of like a, a hipster thing. I don't know if hipster is still something that's, I don't know if that's a term that's still used, <laughs> but I've just really enjoyed having this mini like little ritual, like especially when I cook dinner is just putting on a record and just sort of putting my phone in a different room and you know, unplugging a bit and enjoying some music. So I'm really excited to have some new vinyl records because obviously new ones are like really expensive. So just having this to sort of have some more fun things to listen to. Super excited about that. I actually had so much fun and I am so excited about the stuff that did fit. And I'm just really liking my new sort of summer spring aesthetic. Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you next time.